हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ माई कॉन्टेंट हेल्प्स यू इन यूर लर्निंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट सेज दैट इफ एम वन इक्वल्स टू वन एटी पाउंड फीट एम टू इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी पाउंड फीट एंड एम थ्री इज वन ट्वेंटी पाउंड फीट डिटर्मिन द मैग्नीच्यूड एंड कॉर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स ऑफ द रिजल्ट एंड कपल मोमेंट so we are given four moments m1 m2 m3 and m4 and we have to find the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles of the resultant couple moment so we have to find the angle of the resultant couple moment with the x y and z axis so that the angles with the x y and z axis are known as coordinate direction angles we have already learned that in chapter number 2 so now the resultant couple moment will be the summation of all these moments m1 plus m2 plus m3 and let's say that the mo this moment is let's say represented by m4 so i will write that this is this is m4 so first of all we will write all of these moments moment vectors as a cartesian vectors right so i will write that m1 vector m1 vector this is equal to so now as we can see that this m1 is only acting along the y axis this is parallel to the y axis and the magnitude of m1 is 180 pounds so since it is only acting along the y so its uh, x and z components are zero so its i and k components are zero so we will write that this is zero i and k component is zero and the the j component is this which is 180 pound so we will write plus 180 j and plus 0 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of that m1 now we will write m2 as a cartesian vector so m2 so m2 is acting parallel to the x axis but it is acting in the negative x this is acting in the negative x so m2 magnitude is 90 so this is 90 in the negative i and the remaining two components are zero since it is parallel to the x axis now m3 we have to find m3 since m3 is acting like this and we are given some dimensions we are given this dimension this dimension and this direction so we have to write m3 as a cartesian vector and m3 vector will be equal to m3 magnitude and dot product with the unit vector so let's say that this point from where m3 is starting is let's say point a let's say this point is point a and let's say where it ends is let's say point b so we have to multiply m3 magnitude with the unit vector from a to b so we will multiply it with the unit vector from a to b and we can say that m3 magnitude is given which is 120 so this is 120 and the unit vector from a to b will be the position vector from a to b divided by the magnitude of that position vector so this is m3 cartesian vector this is equal to 120 now we have to find the position vector again to find the position vector we need to move along the x y and z direction from point a to reach that point b so from a we need to travel 2 feet in the positive x so that is plus 2 i so we will reach here then we need to travel 2 feet in the negative y so that is minus 2j and then we need to move this distance 1 feet in the positive k so plus 1k so this is the position vector from a to b we can find its magnitude by taking the squares of the magnitude of the components and then taking the square root So this is two square plus two squares. Two square plus two square plus one. This gives us three. So this magnitude is three, and one twenty divided by three. This one twenty divided by three is forty, and forty into two is eighty minus eighty. So we can write that this is plus forty i minus forty j. Sorry, this is. Uh, 120 divided by 3 is 40 so 40 into 2 is 80 so this is 80 80i minus 80j plus 40k so this is the cartesian vector representation of m3 so now we can write that m3 cartesian vector 
this is plus a t i plus sorry this is minus a t j plus 40 k now m4 so this is m4 and its angle with the with the x y plane is given this is the angle of this m4 with the x y plane so we will have one component on the x y plane this component this this pink component will be 150 cos of 45 and this component is in the x y plane this is in the x y plane and then if we resolve this same um, this 150 cos of 45 into its two components so it will have one component in this direction we will have one component like this this one will be the cos component of this one uh, 150 cos right this is 150 so this will be 150 cos of 45 cos of 45 and we will have one component like this this one will be 150 cos of 45 sine of 45 and similarly we will have one component like this that will be here from this standing triangle this one will be the sine component this is 150 sine of 45 now this component is in the negative y this component is in the positive x so 150 cos of 45 sine of 45 this will give us 75 150 uh, cos of 45 sine of 45 this is 75 so this means that this component in the positive x is 75 so we will write that m4 cartesian vector this is plus 75 i similarly 150 cos of 45 cos of 45 this will al also give us 75 since cos of 45 and sine of 45 have same value so this is acting in the negative j direction so this is minus 75 j and then we have this component this is acting in the negative z so 150 sine of 45 this gives us 106.07 and this is in the negative k so minus 106.07 k so now to find that uh, resultant couple moment let's say that is resultant is mc that will be equal to the summation of all moments so we have to add up all of these i components j components and k components so the i components is 0 minus 90 plus 80 plus 75 this is 65 so this is plus 65 i then we have to add up the j components so 180 plus 0 minus 80 and minus 75 this gives us plus 25 and then we have 0 plus 0 plus 40 minus 106.07 so this is minus 66 point instead of 0 7 i will write minus 66.1 k so this is the uh, cartesian vector representation of the resultant couple moment now as we know that the Cartesian vector can always be represented by its coordinate direction angles and that is always equal to mc magnitude times the cos of alpha i plus mc the magnitude uh, multiplied by the cos of beta j plus mc cos of gamma k and mc is the magnitude of this Cartesian vector so first of all we have to find the magnitude so mc magnitude this is equal to we can find the magnitude by taking the squares of these components and taking the square roots so 65 square plus 25 square plus 66.1 square under the square root 65 square plus 25 square plus 66.1 square this gives us 96 approximately 96 and the units will be in pound feet since m1 m2 and m3 all are given in terms of pound feet so this will also be in pound feet this is 96.0 pound feet so now we need to compare both of these 
so this means that mc cos of alpha will be equal to 65 mc magnitude cos of alpha is 65 and from this we can say that cos of alpha is 65 divided by mc mc is 96 this magnitude is 96 remember so if we want to find alpha angle so alpha will be equal to cos inverse of that ratio which is 65 divided by 96 so cos inverse 65 divided by 96 this gives us 47.38 or we can say that alpha is equal to 47.4 degrees so this is the uh, coordinate direction angle with the x-axis so alpha is the angle with the x-axis the beta with the y and gamma with the z similarly we can say that uh, mc cos of beta is equal to 25 or we can say that mc cos of beta is equal to 25 and again if i divide both sides by mc so we will have mc and mc is 96 so we can say that this is 25 divided by 96 and we can say that beta is equal to cos inverse 25 divided by 96 and similarly gamma will be equal to cos inverse and this uh, magnitude this is 66.1 and we have to write that minus right this is minus so we will write that this is minus 66.1 divided by 96 so this will give us gamma so beta is cos inverse 25 divided by 96 this gives us 74.9 beta is 74.9 degrees and similarly gamma minus 66.1 divided by 96 this gives me 133.5 so gamma is 133.5 degrees so in the problem statement we were asked to find the uh, magnitude and coordinate direction angle so the magnitude is 96 pound feet and alpha is 47.4 beta is 74.9 degrees and gamma is 133.5 degrees so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments and like this video if it helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hippolytics